The explosive Alvaro Barial at left wing back. Luciano Acosta rewarded with that lucrative extension this week. To left back tonight, Captain Ashley Westwood is the centerpiece of this midfield. They've qualified for the playoffs for a second straight season after finishing last in the table each of the previous three years before that. They have their sights set on only five minutes in tonight on MLS season pass. Acosta opts to square this. Barial to play this into the 18. Vasquez for Haglin lifts this far post. Taken out of midair and deflected just wide. 23-year-old Argentine, the return from Acosta. Here comes Cincinnati, played across. Vasquez can't get to it, but Penza, and oh, it's cleared away. That was Bird who made the stop in the six-yard box. That means the chance was sort of gone and the block was put in. Just sees it's a wonderful ball in from Barrial. Well, Vasquez and Bupenza are played onside, but he's brilliant defending from Burn. As a defender, always expect the worst. It's exactly... Barial gives it a go and scores! Oh, the element of surprise! Just as we have another look at it here, I don't think there's anything potentially to warrant that being taken away. Just see Kalina, he's not happy. Something not very happy about at all. I don't see why there are any complaints. Kalina straight out to the referee. He's not happy, but as we can see from seeing the replays, it's again, it's a good goal. The goal is confirmed. Talked about the job Chris Albright did. He identified three areas of need when he took this job. A number one goalkeeper, a ball winner, and a defender. Went out, got Wovedal, Miazga, and Celentano. Here comes Acosta in the danger area. Backing up from it, Bupenza! Two nothing! And there's the combination Cincinnati needs to click. And they double the lead. It's Bupenza from Acosta. Two nothing. Pat Noonan will be absolutely delighted that it was Acosta to Bupenza. But what I would say, we spoke about it in the first half, Privet, he's not comfortable on the right-hand side, but he's going over to the right-hand side because he's man-marking Acosta. So the second Acosta gets away from him, he's never comfortable. And Acosta, if you're uncomfortable playing against him, when you lose the ball, as you can see, Privet is here, well, you might as well just stop because the outcome, more than likely, is going to be the ball in the back of your net. And it's exactly what this Acosta and Bupenza understanding partnership needed plays this top of the 18 Cincinnati holds its ground and now Wobodo with the release Acosta beats one man one on one and another this is still Lucho Acosta continuing on Acosta oh my goodness the ball up and said okay you know what I'm going to pick it up at the halfway line and I'm going to go all the way on my own and you're thinking to yourself release the ball now release the ball now he decides no I'm not having that I'm going to have the goal instead and I'm probably going to get the goal of the season as well it's just unbelievable first of all he uses skill and strength then he uses pace and then he uses patience just to get the time right to take the strike and he completely bamboozles the whole of the Charlotte defense. And this player is a joy to watch. Cincinnati, they've just renewed his contract. What a huge positive. Cross by Bronico comes right back to him and headed over goal. That was Derek Jones with one of the best opportunities of the night for Charlotte. And he has to hit the target, as simple as that. We saw him go through. Yuzviak, who's just come on, able to play this. That ball got by Ajaman and taken by Cincinnati. Let's see what Kubo can do. Has the pace to get away from Jones. Yuya Kubo, that's a fine ball played across. Taken here, Baji with a shot and a save by Kalina. That's off Powell for a Charlotte throw. And that's all. Jair Marufo says full time.
and FC Cincinnati, coached by Pat Noonan.